everyone, today we are doing Goodreads Historical Fiction, and these are the books that Goodreads has picked for March of historical fiction and uh, the genre. Historical fiction, they do like five categories. I only do a couple of them. I do the ones that I read, and of course today they pick five in every genre, and I cannot wait. I've read a couple of these. Let's see, how many of them are? <laughs> I've read one of them, but then that leaves me four more to read this month, and I already have some of these, so I am really, really excited about this list. When I saw it, I was like, I've been hearing about these books forever, and I'm like, yes, they're coming out. Yay. Yay us. So um, let's begin. Number one, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid comes out the fifth. Okay, so that's this coming Tuesday. Um, 368 pages, takes place in the 60s. Reese Witherspoon says she loved this book. And I am right along with Reese. Every time she says she loves a book and I read it, I'm like, yes, yes, Reese, I do love that book. Um, also, Emily Giffen, Catherine Center, who we love so much. Um, they also love this book. So I cannot, that's... It's one of the first ones I'm going to read this week for sure. Um, number two, uh, The Island of Sea Women by Lisa C. Now, I already interviewed Lisa C. And um, I'm going to put that interview down there. I interviewed her last year. This book also comes out on Tuesday, 384 pages. And it takes place on a Korean island named Jeju. It goes from the 30s, the 40s, to the Korean War, which I... I've never read a historical fiction about Korea, so I'm really, really looking for, and I love her. She is so sweet, and I love her writing so much. You're going to love it. I'm going to love it. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I know I'm going to love it. Um, number three, this is the one I read, What the Wind Knows by Amy Harmon came out. Okay, now, this book, okay, it's driving me crazy. Amy, I interviewed Amy for this book. I'll put the link below. Um, it had a February 1st release date, and then they were putting it in February, and now it says March 1st. It's out there. That's all I can tell you. It says March 1st, but it's there. You can order this book. Um, I just want to talk about it again because it is that amazing. 416 pages. It takes place in Ireland, 1921. Reese Bowen gave a blurb, and we love Reese because she writes historical fiction. So amazing. But Amy is such a sweetheart. I love you, Amy. I love her. She is. And that interview was so cool. So you can watch that one. Um, number four, The Last Year of the War with Susan Meisner comes out the 19th. I also interviewed Susan last year, which I will link that below. This book is 400 pages, World War II, Michelle Gable, Christina McMorris, they've given blurbs on it, and I love her. Like, she does amazing research. She is one of my favorite historical fiction writers, too, and she comes out with a lot of them. I mean, I feel like... She even came out with one in between. I don't know. I just know that it's very consistent. She is always writing. So last, we got In Another Time by Jillian Cantor. Also interviewed Jillian last year for her book. This one comes out on Tuesday. Um, 336 pages. This is the shortest one. World War II. Blurbs by Fiona Davis and Pam Jenoff, who I love. Both of them. I love Fiona so much. I'm going to put my interview that I did with G uh, Jillian last year. So, like, I've talked to everyone but Taylor Jenkins Reid. I want to talk to you, Taylor. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying to get a hold of you, but you are, you are going to be, you know, this book is like, I've heard it is crazy good. But all these books, I, you know, I'm so happy that I've read one of them because these other four Let's see, we have three of them that come out this week, then Amy's is already out, and uh, Susan Meisner's comes out on the 19th. So just to go through these one more time to show off the covers, we've got Daisy Jones and the Six. Amazing cover. Uh, the Island of Sea Women. Oh my God, do you not love this cover? Oh, what the Wind Knows. Love it. The Last Year of the War. Can't wait to read that one. And In Another Time. All beautiful covers. 
all women, which is pretty crazy, right? All women. And uh, there we go. Historical fiction for March. Get busy. If you read a book a week, you're set. You've already got it, right? So thanks for watching, everyone. Please hit like if you love these book lists, whatever you want to call them. I love doing them. I love seeing what's out there. And um, have a great weekend, everyone.